Hello and welcome everybody to, gosh, it's been a long time. I missed you all, uh, mostly, except for all the people that gave me uh, bad comments. Um, no, just kidding. I miss you. I miss you all. So it's been a while since I've been on here. I um, kind of took a break uh, because just the pressure of having 150 followers was just kind of a little overwhelming for me. And I just had to take a step back, you know, was having just too many death threats too many. No, no, that's, that's a lie. Um, a hundred and, uh, uh, below anything below 200 is pretty manageable. Uh, so, Hey, I, I found something really cool. I don't know. I mean, I didn't find it. I just realized a really cool feature in Avid and I wanted to talk about it because I've been feeling a little negative about Avid lately. And, um, I thought, you know what, let's get all this negative negativity out of my system and replace it with positivity. And, and that's what I'm doing today, something positive. It's called audio ducking. Um, everybody here probably, you know, ducks their audio uh, to, you know, the, <laughs> I just pointed at the screen as if you could see my uh, hand, you can't. Uh, but, you know, everybody here, you know, ducks their audio, right? So, um, for example, you know, you come in here, you set your, um, you know, marks, I use P as my quick key, and then I have a whole tutorial on this, right? There it is, that's nice. Well, that's a lot to do for this whole sequence. And so audio ducking uh, kind of takes care of that for you um, to a certain degree. So let me show you how it works. You simply click on this here, which is your audio ducking. Um, I'm sure uh, it would be, you know, somewhere up here, I don't really know. Um, you can add it to your bar if it's not in there by clicking um, Command-3, which will bring up your command palette. And then um, what else is... Shoot. I don't know. Ah, yeah, you have to go into your settings, which would be Command-Comma now. And then go to your user settings, find your keyboard and then um, you know map these to wherever you want, either on your keyboard or up here. Right, audio ducking's probably in, in here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where it is. I spend like hours looking for these things anyways. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find it. So now to get to the main event, which for those of you that kind of, um, Man, I had some complaints about people saying I talk too much, uh, and it's true. I talk too much. I, there's nothing. There's not any getting around that. I just, you know, sometimes these tutorials are half talking, half. No, it's more like it's more like eighty percent talking and and like, uh, like three percent, you know, doing, and then the rest of the percent just talking again at the end. Um, and if you don't like that, you know, I, I put marks in the YouTube. Uh, to just jump right in. And, and so you can click on those and avoid all this talking and all this boring stuff. Um, yeah, so click on audio ducking and here you go. It's pretty simple. You have your dialogue. Uh, so it'd be A1 right here if your dialogue was A2 and A3 or A3 or you know whatever, you select your dialogue and then you select your um, tracks that you want to duck. In my case, it is tracks three and four. All right, so three and four. Now, this is your advanced settings, okay? And and this is where you will finesse your ducking. Okay, so the threshold basically means what does your audio have to hit in order to duck your music, okay? So for me, you know, it's set to negative 12. You can set it to whatever. That's going to probably be good. If you just want all of it to duck, you know, you can just put it down to the bottom, you know, negative 99 decibels, that pretty much means that, uh, a, you know, a very soft sneeze, any audio, like nothing will make it duck, right? Um, so let's just say, you know, negative, you know, 11 or 10, right? Which is what it's at. Okay. Hold time. The hold time is basically how the distance between the end of audio to the next audio. Okay, so if you have that set as 30 frames, and I'll show you an example here, it will hold the duck all the way to the next audio piece. So for example, if I say duck right now, this gap is 25 frames. I did this intentionally so you could see. This gap is 25 frames. So if I click duck right now, 
your audio will duck down and then back up at the end of that. If I say 10 frames, then it will duck up in that gap, in that gap, and then back down uh, when it gets to it. Uh, attenuation is just uh, how far down you want your audio track to duck, okay? So to go down, so, you know, negative 10, you know, how many decibels are you gonna lower the audio, um, you know, in this instance? I have negative 10, so whatever. And then, of course, ramp time is exactly, you know, what it sounds like. It's how long do you want it to ramp? Seven frames, you know, five frames, four frames. The whole time, however, keep this in mind, the whole time has to be, I think it's minimum like double of what your ramp time is or yeah. So see my ramp time, seven frames. If I move it up to say 10 frames, the lowest hold time I can have is 20. If I go my ramp down to one, the lowest hold time I can have is two. So there's a fun little thing. So let's just say ramp time, five frames, hold time, 10 frames. Okay, let's just make it as low as I can. I say duck and voila. Look at how fun and pretty that is, right? So it kind of ducks it um, there for everybody. See? So then I can go through and that didn't really make sense what I just said, everybody. Of course it ducks it for everybody. I mean, you are everybody. You're the editor. Okay. So then you can go in and make adjustments where you need. Um, let's undo this. Okay, duck it again, and then put the hold time. Oh shoot, I, I was gonna show you. Um, let's make the rant time a little bit longer. Duck that. I was gonna show you right here. So this is a 25 frame gap, right? And you see how it comes up right there? Well, let's just undo that, all right? Duck it again and say hold time to 30 frames. You say duck. And, hmm, well, this worked in my test, my testing kit. Let's try, let's try this one more time. Let's say 40 frames. Maybe I did it uh, less. Okay, there you go. So 40 frames gap. Um, I was just off on my frames, I guess. But the longer you, you have that, then the more it's going to just stay down. See, so in this case, uh, this whole thing is ducked, which... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the lesson. Um, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for you know following me. Um, spread the word, please. Share me across all your social media platforms. Link to QMotion.com. It would be great. That's my business. You know, I post these on my blog there. It's not a great blog. It's a terrible blog. But hey, you know, give me some love. You know, say thank you, and. Um, you know, I'm even going to start a patron link. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm never going to make money on these. Uh, but, you know, as always, let me know what you want to learn, and maybe I can learn it if I don't already know it and uh, share it with you. I do have a, a, an exciting one coming up about tips and tricks um, uh, about things that will make your life easier in Avid, which is, which is going to be, well, let's just, it's going to be a really, really good one. Um, as opposed to this one, which was long and boring, as we all know. Most of them really suck. I mean, most of these do. So thanks for watching, regardless, um, and uh, taking some time out of your day. Okay. <laughs>